Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sandeep, working as Associate Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. In the previous session, I have discussed on heat transfer basics, modes of heat transfer, mechanisms of heat transfer and numericals. So today I am going to discuss on general heat conduction equation and special forms of heat conduction equation, heat conduction in cylindrical coordinate system and heat conduction in spherical coordinate system. So, while going to discuss on the general differential equation in Cartesian coordinate system, we have to consider an element in a Cartesian coordinate system. So, if you consider the element along the x, y, z direction, these are the sides of the small element what you are considering. So, dx, dy, dz are the three sides on the small element in the Cartesian coordinate system. Now the heat flux along x direction is given by Qx. So if you give heat input along x direction, after some time, the change in the heat input will be Qx plus dx. Similarly, if you are giving Qy along y direction heat input, the change in the y direction will be Qy plus dy. Similarly, along z direction, Qz is the heat in, you are giving inside and the outlet will be Qyz plus dz. So these are the three changes in the heat what you're giving along the x y z directions now if you apply the energy balance equation to this small element what you're considering in the cartesian coordinate system the first element will be whatever the heat conducted into the element dx dy dz per unit time so this is the first element that is the heat input you're giving plus the internal heat generated per unit time so after giving the heat input so what is the internal heat generation happening inside the body per unit time is the second term. The third term will be increase in internal energy. So after giving the heat input, whatever the uh, energy increased per unit time inside the body is the third time. And the total work done per unit time is given by the fourth element. Now these four elements gives the energy balance equation that is 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 plus 4. So the first element is heat input. Second one is the internal heat generation. Third is the energy increase per unit time. And total is fourth one is work done. Now we have to calculate all these terms in order to get the general heat conduction equation in the Cartesian coordinate system. Since we are considering a small element uh, in the Cartesian coordinate system, the fourth element can be neglected because of its very small size. Now we have to calculate the first three terms in order to get the general heat conduction equation. Now, if you are considering that uh, equation along the phase ABCD, the first phase along the x direction we are giving the heat flux Qx. Similarly, the change in the heat input will be Qx plus dx along the x direction at the other phase. Now the equation of heat flow inside the body along x direction is given by Qx into dy dz. This is the area given by. Now small Qx is nothing but the heat flux. The equation is nothing but minus k dou t by dou x. These are all equations we have seen in the previous lecture. So now the total energy, the net rate of energy given inside the body along x direction is given by qx plus dx. So you have to add the first equation and the second equation to get the total net rate of energy entering along x direction. So that is given by qx plus dx. So qx is nothing but qx d by dz plus change in energy along the x direction. Now qx minus qx plus dx gives the net rate of heat conducted into the element along z direction. Now substituting all these elements you will get it as dou x by dou x into kx dt by dx dy dy dz. So now rearranging these terms you will get the d by dx of the thermal conductivity along x direction by dt by dx change in temperature along x direction into the area dx dy dz. Similarly, if you find the change in energy along y direction, you will get this term dou by dou y into ky dt by dy into dx dy dz. Similarly, along x direction, you will get the equation d by dz of kz dt by dz into dx dy dz. Now, therefore, the net heat conducted into the element 
the first element is given by summation of all these three elements along x y z directions if you add all these things you will get the net heat conducted into the element dx dy dz per unit time that is the first equation now in order to get the second uh, equation that is the internal heat generation per unit time now we have to consider q dot as the internal heat generation per unit time and per unit volume that is given by q dot into dx dy dz that is the internal heat energy along x y z directions that is the second term now the change in internal energy per unit time of the element or the period is given by mass of the element what is the mass we are considering of the element into specific heat and the change of temperature along the time dt now mass of the element is given by density into volume rho is called the density volume of the element is dx dy dz specific heat is given by cp and change in temperature of the element is dt if you rearrange these terms then you can write the equation as rho cp dt into dx dy dz so this gives the the third equation in the energy balance that is rho cp dt by dx to dx dy dz this is called the third element now if you substitute all the elements in the energy balance equation you will get the heat conduction equation the cartesian coordinate system so the first element is nothing but the entire term you are uh, adding in the first equation plus the heat flux the third term second term is equal to the third term the output rho cp dt by dx if you now if you consider the element which is having the thermal conductivity should be equal that is called the isotropic whatever the element you are considering which is having the same material properties is called isotropic that means kx ky kz is equal to k which is constant if you substitute these value in the above equation then the general equation you will get it as dou square t by dou x square plus dou square t by dou y square plus dou square t by dou z square plus q dot by k is equal to rho cp by k into dou t by dou t so dou t is called the change in temperature and dou t by small t is called the change in uh, time with respect to time now if you rearrange this equation you can write it as rho cp by k into dt by dt so rho cp by k is called the thermal diffusivity that is alpha so this value is called the thermal diffusivity if you want to find out the thermal diffusivity of the given element that is given by k by rho cp this is the thermal diffusivity now what are the special forms you are having in the heat conduction equation the first one is called the uniform thermal conductivity what are the material you are considering which is having the uniform thermal conductivity property same material property it is called uniform thermal conductivity that equation is called the general heat conduction equation what you are writing that is given by dou square t by dou x square plus dou square t by dou z y square plus dou square t by dou z square plus q dot by k is equal to 1 by alpha into dou t by dou t this is also called as laplacian operator of t this is the first form the second form is called the steady state condition in the steady state condition the temperature change with respect to time is constant that is dou t by dou t is equal to zero now if you substitute the dou t by dou t as zero in the general heat conduction equation this is the general heat conduction e equation if you substitute this value as zero then what you, the equation you are getting is called the steady state that means the complete term the dou t by dou t the change in temperature with respect to time is equal to zero then you will get the poisson's equation that is called dou square t by dou x square plus dou square t by dou y square plus dou square t by dou z square plus q dot by k is zero this is the steady state condition in the heat conduction the coming to the next special form no heat source that means the heat flux what you are giving inside the element is zero that is q dot by k again if you substitute this q dot by k as zero in the general heat conduction equation you will get it as dou square t by dou y square plus dou square t by dou x square plus dou square t by dou z square is equal to 1 by alpha dou t by dou t this equation is called diffusion equation and coming to the the last special form that is called one dimensional heat conduction equation now if you consider in this case in x direction that is along only x direction then you will get it as dou square t by dou x square plus q dot by k is equal to 1 by alpha dou t by dou t that means along y direction is zero along z direction is zero since you are considering only along x direction these other terms y and z will be zero 
Now, if you consider along y's direction, then x and z will be zero. Similarly, if you consider along z direction, x and y will be zero. So this is called the one-dimensional heat conduction equation. Again, if you want to write a one-dimensional equation with steady state condition and with no heat source, then these elements will be neglected. Only dou square t by dou x square will be zero. This is called the heat conduction equation along one dimension with steady state and no heat source. Now, the other form is the heat conduction equation in the cylindrical coordinate system. So again, you have to consider the small element in the cylindrical coordinate system. In the previous uh, session, what you have discussed, similarly, you have to consider the uh, along radial direction, the small element with respect to z direction. So here, you can see t is a function along the radial direction, phi is the angle, what you are taking, and the element along z direction you are considering, this is the z direction with respect to some time t. So if we do again the energy balance equation for this small element in the cylindrical coordinate system, then you'll get the final equation as dou square t by dou x dou r square plus 1 by r dou t by dou r plus 1 by r square into dou square t by dou phi square plus dou square t by dou z square plus q dot by k is equal to 1 by alpha dou t by dou t. So again in this also if you want to take any special forms, that means if the cylindrical coordinate system is in steady state so this term will be zero so if it is steady state this should be zero again if there is no heat source then this element will be zero now again in this equation we can write number of ways if you want to consider only along the radial direction then this condition z and phi can be neglected so in this way you can uh, write the special forms for cylindrical coordinate system also Next, coming to spherical coordinate system, this is again, it is a function of the radius, the angle what you're taking, at which angle you're taking with respect to time. So, after uh, applying the energy balance equation for this uh, spherical coordinate system also, you'll get the final equation. So, in this also, you can write the special forms with no heat source, steady state condition, and whatever the angles you're taking. So, if you want to take again the with the one steady state, so this will be zero. With no heat source, this can be zero. If you want to consider only along the radial direction, then the phi psi can be zero. So only you'll get it as 1 by r dou square t by dou r square into r t is equal to zero. So this is the only steady state condition with no heat source along the radial direction of the spherical coordinate system. So these are the uh, basics in the heat conduction equation with special forms with cylindrical coordinate system, spherical coordinate system, and Cartesian coordinate system. So these are the references where you can get these uh, derivations in the heat transfer. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.